Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And welcome to day three of the four-day July prayer and fasting program, Precious Saints. God wants you to press in. God wants you to break through, to break out, to break over, to break under every hindrance and obstacle before you today, Precious Saints. We need to understand the importance of prevailing prayer, of intercession. And I encourage you to press in and to follow the blog so you can go deeper and further and you can understand and study about Father Nash today, who was a powerful man of prayer. And we need that prevailing prayer to see revival within this hour. But the Lord has a word for you today. The Lord is saying today, learn to confess my word over your situation, as my word is still a sharper than any two-edged sword, making it a great weapon for you against all of Satan's attacks. When you wield the sword of my spirit, you will be victorious, for I am training your hands to war, to battle against the hordes of hell. Therefore, no matter the advancement of the enemy's forces against you or around you, remember, I am greater. As you are discovering more each and every day, your battles are in the unseen world, within the second heavens, for your battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness, of spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. My child, I am with you. People are being taken in this hour. And you must learn to know and to discern what is right and what is wrong. Because when you learn to pray with effectiveness, my child, you have the authority to send hemorrhaging within the realms of darkness. Yes, you become the devil's worst nightmare. For you send confusion to all of his plans and devices that he has against your home, against your marriage, against your family, against your community, and against your nation. But my child, there are many casualties within wars, and just as there are also within the spiritual war that you are in. Yes, my child, many are even unaware of who their real enemy is, and they start fighting each other only to be placed behind the enemy's lines, being held captive. Therefore, be careful to guard your heart, my child, and watch the words that you allow to penetrate your armor. For words will produce either death or life in both of those who speak them and in those who receive them, my child. Don't hold on to offenses of the past and stop talking about them. For your mind affects your mouth and your mouth affects your mind. Allow me to renew your mind today with my words. For it will always be difficult for you to stop talking about a situation until you stop thinking about it, my child. My child, the devil is a defeated foe who should only ever live under your feet each and every day. Stop allowing him to live rent free within your minds. Therefore, rebuke him and take hold of all of his suggestions and all of his thoughts that he's implanting and injecting into your mind. Therefore, continue to take your stand against the enemy and arise and shine today, knowing that I am with you, knowing that I am for you. Therefore, be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Daniel 1 verse 8, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Somebody say hallelujah. See, Daniel lived in the midst of Satan's greatest stronghold. Babylon is the biblical center of demons and devils. It is said that this was the location of the 
first church of Lucifer and a place from whence every unclean power has spread to debauch the world. Everything unclean had its origin in this location, yet Daniel defied hell, stood his ground, and saw the God of heaven revealed, exalted, and vindicated as the only true God. He did it by prevailing prayer, precious saints. God always uses a godly saint to show up the devil when we stay true to God's word. Just as I was saying to some people today, we are in that hour that we need to stay on this revival train. We cannot afford to become cold, to doubt, or become indifferent to what God said he would do with this end time revival. It is vital to stay on fire for God, to show up the devil, and let him know that he cannot have God's people. So imagine, at this time for Daniel, Hell had spread its tent all over the known world until Babylonia was the golden kingdom on earth. Its vileness was drowning men in devil worship, in sexual debauchery. Men worshipped goddesses in uh, feminine attire, while women worshipped gods in masculine garb. Sexual orgies was the ultimate act of worship to please these gods from hell. Now, does this sound familiar to the world today that we live in with the LGBTQ community and everything with the woke community? Because behind all the glamour, even in Hollywood, of power, of wealth, of all the richest people in the world and all the positions of authority, those that serve and worship Satan is the same manner today. So Daniel was amid this hellish society, but fell on his face before the true God, Yahweh, and set his heart like flint. Somebody say hallelujah. God wants to do the same. Imagine, precious saints, if one man in the stronghold of hell's capital at that particular time can defy the powers of darkness and witness a revelation of deliverance and victory through prevailing prayer, what kind can we do if we will just pray? Yes, we're going to see repentance revival. It just depends on our willingness to pay the cost of total surrender and give ourselves to the word of God and travailing prayer. You can't have prevailing until you have travailing. You can't have revival until you have travail. Travail leads to prevailing prayer. Prevailing prayer will sustain and also birth revival, precious saints. Satan sent reinforcements when he saw the resolve of Daniel to persist in prevailing prayer when he prayed for 21 days. But the victory was given to the man who dared to believe and persevere. It has always been settled that travailing, prevailing prayer is God's method to see sudden breakthroughs. If you want to see the suddenlies, learn to travail, learn to pray with the assistance of the Holy Spirit. We can see that Daniel travailed. He persevered in prayer. One man that stood in the gap, he may have felt like nothing happened. He may have felt like his prayers weren't answered. But when God sent the messenger to him, he said to him, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before God, your prayers were answered. They were answered, precious saints, when we dare 
to stand in the midst of a wicked world, we can also see revival come. But are you going to be persistent? Are you going to stay on the revival train? Are you going to believe it within all your heart? Because this revival coming is bigger than any person, any ministry, any one place. But it is for nations, precious saints. God is coming for nations in this hour to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And I believe that if you desire it enough, you're going to see revival come even in the midst of wickedness that is all around us, precious saints. God is going to come and show off. Yes, he's going to show up and show off within this hour. So allow God to do what only he can do within this hour. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you this day in the name of Jesus, covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. We know, Lord, that all of our lives are important. And I pray, Lord, about our life and our circumstances today. Nothing that has happened to us is unknown to you. And Lord, today we now consciously forgive all those that have spoken negatively or done hurtful things to us. Lord, we place them on your altar and ask you to bless those people that have oppressed us, that have wronged us, Lord, and we forgive them and we ask to bless them today. Lord, we now submit ourselves to you fully. We submit all of our hurts, our woundings to you, and we ask you to release our wounded spirit, our wounded soul to be healed today in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak, Lord, to our soul to come into the divine order of God. And we now rise up again in your name. And we know that the joy and the freedom of being made whole only comes in you. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer our cry. Right now, we accept our healing and give ourselves afresh to you. Please take over our lives and let us live in abundance to glorify you every single day. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your faithful obedience in going to the cross for us and help us to withstand the devil's temptations and to follow you with faith and obedience. We decree and declare today for your breakthrough to come. Yes, I pray for each person's breakthrough, that the devil, what the devil meant for bad, God is going to turn it around and use for your good. God's mercies are new every morning. Don't let the enemy take your joy away today, saints. You better shout that the devil out of your life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your job, your friends, your family and your loved ones, the enemy must leave today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you in advance for what you're doing. The devil at times may attack us hard, Lord, but God, we know that you gave, Lord, all things into our hands and we can handle it. We can handle it and because even when we're feeling weary right now, Lord, we thank you that we can praise you and that you can can renew our strength. We bind and arrest the works of the enemy and his cohorts today, Lord, over our lives, and we loosen the works of the Lord and the protection from the third heaven upon each person today against all forces of darkness today. Because you said, according to Matthew 11, verse 12, that the heavens suffer in violent and the violent take it by force. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you that each person, they are built up today to overcome and also to prosper today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the enemy has no gateway into any person's life today, that you close every portal and every door that would give the enemy access to come in and to destroy your life and hinder your blessings today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare today and I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Lord, I pray that these prayers are going to be expedited to the throne room of God right now through the precious blood of Jesus Christ and that Lord we thank you that you will answer and you will bring down Lord our request expect 
distinctly, Lord, today according to your will and purpose for our lives. Lord, And we, as we prepare for what you're going to do, Lord, I pray that you will touch your people today. Lord, I pray that you would get them off every sidetrack, every confusion that is coming against them. Lord, we speak your blessings upon your people today. Come and touch them. Come and fill them. Come and heal them. Come and deliver them and bring them back to you today. Whatever mistakes they've made, the blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things and I speak it over them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring healing, bring deliverance to your people. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I've also got a word of knowledge here. There is someone that you're very troubled about your child, in particular a teenage child or a prodigal son and daughter. You've been very concerned about them and God is saying to surrender them to him. He has got the situation under control. He doesn't want you to take on that burden, even though it's natural as a parent, but to surrender it back to God. And God is going to give you a different strategy to deal with this particular issue on this particular time. Know that God is in control of that situation. There's also somebody with an infection in your body. There's also an open wound to somebody and also an infection that has come into your body. So I want you to get ready. If you have the open wound, you can put your hand around that area and believe that that pain and that infection will leave and all the poison that has been produced in the infection will actually leave your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Also speak to someone that has an issue with their teeth. God is saying is going to bring healing and creative healing to that person right now in the area of their teeth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I speak that divine healing over that tooth area as they place their hand upon their mouth right now in the name of Jesus Christ Lord receive the healing of God to come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I declare healing over that person healing over that person healing over that person today and there's also someone that is praying for a spouse I want you to release that spouse to the Lord also as God is going to give you a different tactic of how to deal with that situation and as you're waiting upon the Lord draw closer to him as you have but go deeper God is saying go deeper go deeper go deeper in me there's also somebody that has a birthday today or has been in a birthday I just the Lord wants to bless you today in a special way Lord I pray that you would bless that person today that is around the time of their birth Lord this anniversary date of their birth Lord that you had formed them into their mother's womb that you had a plan you even before within the main trick of their mother's womb you had a plan and purpose for that person to live in this time and even there was someone that was going to be aborted but God changed that situation around and it's a miracle that you're even here today God has called you God has delivered you God has a purpose for your life Uh, and there's also some other young children that have been listening into these prophetic utterances with your children I just want to give you also a special happy birthday to you God has a plan and purpose for your life that you will be the head and not the tail you will be above and not beneath and you will be a blessing to the nations Lord I also pray for those as the Bible says according to Psalm 2 verse 8 it says to pray Lord to you and ask of the nations for your inheritance. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, I ask for the nations for our inheritance. Lord, I pray that you would reach more people with the gospel, more people with the truth. Lord, that you would bring them out of apathy, bring them out of lukewarmness, bring them out of compromise, and bring them back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, anybody that's having dream pollution still, I speak to that situation that has been upon your dreams that you've just had and I declare it is not your portion in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke every demonic dream I command that spirit that is coming against them in dream pollution that's coming against them in the night you will be arrested right now and I command you to come out of that person leave their life today in the name of Jesus Christ come out of them come out of them and go in the name of Jesus Christ they will no longer have nightmares they will no longer have those situation of a spiritual spouse and so forth those things are going to finish now in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and believe 
Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Perth, Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And precious saints, if you've liked this utterance and message and prayer today, we encourage you to send it to someone today that would encourage him. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Join one of our WhatsApp groups that we can stir revival in the nations. This is bigger than a person. This is bigger than a ministry. This is for nations. This is God's end time revival for nations. So get connected. So today is day three of the prayer and fasting for July to get on fire for God. We must learn to have prevailing prayers and learn to travail in the Lord. So be encouraged today. You can join this fast at any particular time. Precious saints, this week coming, I will be heading to Africa, starting in South Africa. Precious saints, the mission is going to be awesome. God is going to do a powerful move. Precious saints, we have an all night prayer and fast, which is uh, at the Evandale complex there, which is very secure. It's called the fortress. It is very secure. It is very good premise for us to pray all night from, from night all the way through to the morning, praying, travailing, believing God to bring revival within South Africa. Then we head to East London. Then we come back also to Johannesburg for the three days at the Birchwood Conference Center. That will be powerful. Over a thousand plus venue for those souls. We know revival is coming, precious saints. Then after that, we go to Cape Town. We've got two separate meetings. You can look at the flyers now. You can come to any of those. Make sure you RSVP. Let us know you're coming so we get an idea for the number. All of our meetings are free of charge. Then we're heading to Namibia. We've got a four-day conference in Namibia. God is going to move powerfully there. Make sure you RSVP. Then we're heading to Kenya. We've got a powerful ministry there. Then we're going to Uganda. It will be powerful again. Remember, every Friday is Corporate Friday fasting, so join in with us, precious saints. God is with you. God is for you. Repentance revival is coming to the nation. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.